So in this video I would like to explain how to create a macro inside bSolid or bSuit. I'm using in this case the bSuit 4.2 from Biese. So and to start with we take a simple macro for a Hetty hinge, this census 111 degree hinge. So here on this picture we have the drilling pattern with a big hole radius 17.5 or diameter 35 plus 0.2 and we have two small holes that are depending how to fix this. It's 11 millimeter or 6 millimeter if you I think you screw or you're pressing it in. So and now we have to think what do we need when we want to move our macro in the right position. We need of course the position in X and we need the position in Y because we have here a variable called C and we need because of the two different hole diameters and variable for the drilling. So going inside the B-Solid we start by creating a workpiece. That's quite simple. We take the standard measurement or dimensions of the workpiece, get it in the front view and now we creating our variables. So with the first variable position in X we take an, an example value of 100 millimeters. So the second is the position in Y and we take 5 millimeters. And our third variable, I call it assembly. I put in the six millimeter. So, and then in this description, it's the diameter drilling. So, okay. Now we start with our geometries. Let's move this piece a little bit down. So and we start with the first circle. So you can choose different. You can given center and diameter. So here we write in our position in X and here we write in our position in Y plus 17.5 plus 0 0.1 for these plus 0 0.2. So, and in fact, we don't need anything. So, then we write enter and we have a 35 millimeter diameter. That's our first drilling. So, our second drilling, when we go inside, we have here a distance between center and center of the fixing holes of 48 millimeters. Put that in mind. Then we start with the pos x minus 24 or to make it a little bit more clear the 48 divided by 2. So the pos y is our y of 5 millimeters. Then we have the 17.5 for the center plus the 0 0.1 and plus when we go back in this plus 6 millimeters from the center so 6. So put this in enter and here we putting on the diameter our variable assembly. So and then we push OK. So we have one drilling. We go back into the drilling under advanced. We can make repetitions so we don't have to make two circles. We only repeat. We say two repetitions and we say 48 millimeters apart from each other. Okay, so now we have our geometries for the drillings. So then we going into our machining operations, choosing the drilling in this case, We're choosing it by geometry, we choosing the big circle and then we can do it by diameter 
so it wouldn't fit because there's no this type so we're choosing two and here we have the 35 millimeter drill inside the document from Hetic it says it's a cup depth of 12.8 millimeters so we put in the 12.8 and say OK so and for the other two circles when we mark them there we're putting in also a drilling then we say here we put our assembly as a value in and when we go back into the document we see it should be 10 millimeters deep so and then we press here OK so now we can see here our workpiece yeah, come on move it a little bit so now we can get here inside the simulation have our drillings so we can make here a check of executability if the tools are inside the machine and everything so we see the green hook on the uh, side of the icon so everything is fine so and now we check our parameters for example we put in 150 and we see it's moving we change the position in y for example to 8 back to 5 we see it's moving and also if we remember we have the drilling diameter of 10 and 11 so when we change it it changed also here so the next step is up here save macro so it means that we save our program like a macro put it inside here call it for example census and I think the name of this one was 68645 y so 8645i so and we can also attach a little picture i think this one was the right one no and i have to check under s like census here we have it so now we have a little picture of our macro uh, that's the macro with our parameters or variables the section we have a preview so we have special functions we can save it and when we go back to the cat cam area making a new piece also the standard piece going here inside the macro here we have our census we put it on so we can put it on two sides we can say it's 125 from the edges so we have the 11 millimeter so now we have a macro that we can load into our program and don't have to make it every time again when we say okay only making a little check and then we see the working on it that's it that's a little program that explains, or a little video that explains how to make it.